Hey everyone, welcome back to the Sailor Girl Golf Channel. I'm Brandy. And I'm Justin. And thanks for joining us on our journey to get better at this crazy game we call golf. I know parts one and two were pretty ho hum, but today we bring the energy, we bring the action, and I really hope you enjoy part three. Let's get into it. We got a blue flag today on hole 12, excuse me, hole 13, all the way in the back, playing 210. I'm going to be going with the old 3-iron. Oh, and I thinned it. I need a left kick. Oh, you got it. Get up there. Button. Send a win. As difficult as it is for me to say, I have to go with driver. This is a long par 3 for me. It's 181 yards to the back flag. Left. Sit. Well, I might be over the green. Nice shot. Coming up to the green here. We see Brandy just rolled through. She's too strong. I've been telling her to lay off the weights. She would have a lovely little putt here. Mine? It looks like we got about 30 feet. Like dead straight? Dead straight. Man, that fooled me. Hey everyone, I gave Brandy a terrible read there. That putt stayed dead straight. But uh, let's see if I can learn. We definitely should have taken the flag stick out. That was center of the cup, hit the center of the flag stick, but we're in a tournament, so gotta take the par. Par five here. Not sure of the yardage. Brandy will help us out with that. But uh, we are gonna have to get this driver figured out. We got three par fives in a row. I think he figured it out, folks. <laughs> I'm not even going to hit. That is hammered. Justin hit an absolute bomb out here. We only have 172 yards left into this par 5. We do have groups catching up behind us, so we're going to talk a little less and uh, play a little faster. Three wood. And I hit it off the toe, way right. Hopefully Justin hits a good one in there. You gotta love it when you got a seven iron in your hands. Going into a par five. Let's see if we can capitalize. And I tugged it, heading for the cart path. We need a friendly bounce. We don't get it. Oh. Unlucky bounce here from Justin's ball. Gotta go over this sand holder thing, under this tree. I'm going with my gap wedge, try and hit a low, low one in there. This could be interesting. And I duffed it. I'm going 50 degrees as well. As she said, we're uh, very out of position over here. That 7-iron ended up going maybe 195 yards with a little cart path assist. You hate to see it here, folks. Nice shots. Brandon hit a great chip into here. Hopefully we can get the bird. Tugged it a little left. 
All right, everyone, let's see if we can get on board here. Get on the board. Yes, birdie, finally. Nice All righty, back to back par fives here and uh, playing from the blue tees because we get to move back due to the birdie. First birdie of the day and the following hole is the longest hole on the course. Just our luck. Good shot. Once again, I didn't need to hit my driver off the white tees because Justin hit a good one down here. He just barely hung on to the fairway. We have about 265 left into the white flag. I'm gonna hit three wood. Hugged it a bit left. Uh, Nice shot, good strike. Might be all right. All right, 265 should be a brilliant three wood number for me. If I hit it good, we might be able to get home. So let's give it a whirl. I hit right about here. a foot behind the ball, but it kicked right out of those trees. My right. name well, I actually hit my three wood further than Justin for once. He got unlucky with the trees, obviously. We have 97 yards. I'm going with my eight iron. Had it a little thin. Bounced right. Over the green. So 97 yards for me. I'm going 54 degree. Just should just be a smooth one right up in there. You saw the sprinklers were on, the rough is wet. It might fly just a little. Heading right at it. Oh, oh! Woo! Nice shot. All right, we have about another 10 to 12 feet for 30. Oh, unlucky. It didn't break like I thought it would. All right, let's see if we can knock it in. Make it two in a row. And I hit the edge and lip out. We can't make a putt. We're back on the white tees for number 16, our last par five of the day. Uh, this one's very reachable in two, so good drive is required. And I flared it way out right, club face wide open. Just did not commit to that swing at all. Gotta get us in the middle of the fairway here. Going with driver. And I didn't do it. I pulled it left and hit a stinger. Not sure where that ended up. We ended up in kind of just right of the trees. Difference between a high handicap golfer and Justin, who's a seven. I'm just gonna hit this five wood and hope I get through some sort of gap in the trees. And she does, folks. All right, we only got about 210 here, but we just let a group play through and we gotta get going. So I'm just gonna hit a seven iron up there and lay up. I have about 46 yards left. I'm going with my gap left. Very thick rough. Yep. 
Beautiful shot. Lovely. And I'm going with a 54. But it looks like Brandy hit it to about two feet, so hopefully I'm not needed here. Go in. Oh, I don't know where that's at, but it looks good. Woo! A little further than we would have liked, maybe about five or six feet. I'm gonna go right edge here, hopefully knock her in. I went right edge and it stayed on the right edge. Sports fans, after an extremely disappointing par, playing from the white tees again, we got 130 yards to a front right pin position, and I'm going P wave. That'll play. I have 126 yards here from the red tees. Going with five hybrid. It's kind of a sucker pin from this location. Going right over that bunker. But since Justin hit it in there pretty good, I'm just going to go right at it. Well, I went left. But pretty good shot. Good one in here. I did two pin high, but it was just a little bit further. We're about 27 feet away. I murdered it. Dang it. Good line, though. All right. Uh, I've got no confidence with the putter right now, and that's not something you say right before you hit a putt. But, uh... You know, it might free me up a little bit. All you can do is put it on your line and hope. And mine just wouldn't break back in there. Brandy will clean us up for par. Yeah, nice par. All right, everyone, last hole of the day. 18 here from the white tees. I think it plays about 440. So uh, we really need to dial this driver in and not lose this one right. It's a baby draw straight, straight down the right side of the fairway here, speed slot. Yes. Beauty. Split the uprights. Perfect drive. I don't even need to hit. Wow. Justin hit a belter down here. We only have 126 yards left to this white flag. I'm going to have to choke up a little bit because the ball's above my feet. So I'm going to go with my five hybrid. Beautiful shot, baby. Uh, Brandy's uh, perfectly flag high, probably about 15 feet, so that really frees me up. Uh, 126, just a little bit downhill. I'm gonna be taking a 50 degree. Here you go. <laughs> G. 
just a bit skinny. Well, I absolutely cured that five hybrid. I almost went with six hybrid, so I'm really glad I went with that shot. It's pin high. Have about 14-ish feet left for our birdie. It's gonna be a little bit left to right. And once again, I didn't hit it. Speed control all over the place today. Such a good roll. our tournament we ended up with minus one yeah minus one 69 we got um 17 pars and one birdie um happy with that justin really is the good golfer so anytime i can shoot under par i'm pretty happy uh, thanks for watching uh, another edition of sailor girl golf and we'll see you next time